Before we start our today's lecture, check out our 7 Frigga Traders program, a program dedicated for you to become a high performance trader, only going for $115 per month with trading signals included. Find the link in the description box below and join the winners. Hello traders, welcome to our first episode of our analysis session. In this episode, we are going to be focusing on Euro USD. It's something new that we are introducing YouTube analysis sessions. So in this analysis session, we are going to start off uh, by actually introducing what we will be doing. We'll be actually analyzing each and every pair and uh, only one pair per day. And uh, we firstly, we need to actually show you what we do when we say we are analyzing. In this particular case, there are some markups that I'll remove shortly, which we analyzed some time ago. So basically, in our traders uh, uh, becoming a seven-figure trader, we make these analyses live and uh, we make some anticipations. So basically, like in this particular case, we had uh, several pairs that we uh, marked some time ago. Uh, like uh, we can see this is U.S. oil where we made this particular uh, analysis. It was actually a look to make some sales on U.S. oil and the market went in our direction. If you want to see the before part, you can actually uh, go into our free Telegram channel where we actually send these particular markups. So if we look at uh, Eurocard, it was actually a trade that moved very well. Uh, we wanted to see a buy setup at this particular zone and then the market actually went to the upside like that. So basically that is what we'll be doing. But in this case, we are going to do it live in front of you here on YouTube on the one pair per day so that we can uh, get as much help as we can. So on EURUSD, I am going to remove all the drawings so that we start again to look at how everything was done. As always, if you watched the previous video to this one on our channel, you've seen that we always start by uh, looking at the higher time frames. I'm not going to look at the daily, weekly, monthly, but I'm just going to start off from the four hour time frame so that we can see where we are within the cycles. Going on the four hour time frame, this is how it looks like. On the four hour time frame, we had some lows, and from those lows, the market started to go to the upside. So these are our lows that are available to us, and we can start right away to mark our levels. What are levels? Impulsive moves in one unilateral direction, and then from there, uh, we need to see a corrective structure. So from this particular point, we had a rise that actually broke structure. It's actually an impulse, meaning that this was level one, uh, level two, and then level three to the upside like that. So I'm going to mark them using rectangles so that it will be easier for us to see where we are in the cycle. So this is level one, then we had uh, level two, and lastly, level three. For you to clearly mark these with high precision, because it's not always when these levels are as clear as daylight like this. In some cases, you need some skills to actually see where a level starts and where a level finishes. And if that uh, occurs, it means that uh, you can mark them clearly. After three levels have been marked, we need to check these levels on the lower time frame. So I'm going to shift to the uh, H1 time frame to see if each and every level is actually true, right? As I have said earlier, we have a program called the Seven Figure, Becoming a Seven Figure Funded Trader, uh, where we actually teach you to trade correctly and the right way. This method has been proven, and I have actually attained several funded accounts trading this particular methodology. So we have one on the H4 time frame, the first impulse and its corrective structure, and then the second impulse and its corrective structure. After three levels in one direction, what do we expect? We need to see a multi-session M pattern. In this case, we had first leg, pullback, second leg, and the market went to the downside. After that, 
whilst we are still expecting to see the market to keep on going in one particular direction, we need to see what we call a peak reset point. A peak reset in this particular case was issued as an inverted head and shoulders pattern. Shoulder, head, shoulder. Meaning that we were now going to start off our count of the H1 cycle at this particular point. Level 1, right? Level 2 was a little bit engraved. That is why it's not as clear. Level 2 and then level 3. As I've said earlier, you need to learn for you to be able to mark these levels with high precision. Where are our entry points? Our entry points can be deemed as points of starting a new impulse, meaning that these are our entry points and these are our entry points. I will not delve deep, in, uh, deep into how you are going to make some entries. That is where I am saying you now need to learn for you to know what to look for in these particular points. Then from there, we had another uh, H4 level with three H1 levels. We had the first impulse to the upside. And this was one second impulse, but later it was engulfed with this drop to the downside, meaning that we now have one level to the upside like that. And then we had the last level to the upside like that. Three levels in one direction. We expect to see the market to give us a reversal. In this particular case, what do we have? We have what we call a half a Batman cycle, right? A half a Batman peak formation high, meaning that this is something that I wouldn't want to trade in all my uh, uh, for all my students because it's something that is not uh, 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 non-subjective. We cannot say we were going to enter here. I would want to see those types of patterns that you call double top or double bottom pattern. So if we are to create something like this on the H4 time frame, I would I would be happy to actually trade that this particular pair. If they actually come back to retest that same particular point, right? I would be happy to take some shots from this particular point, right? If they do not so do so and keep on dumping to the downside, there are now other tradable uh, uh, there are now other tradable setups that we talk about that I'll be looking for. So basically, this is what I'm expecting on EURUSD. For now, we are expecting to find, uh, 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 to, to get uh, a reset or an ultimate reversal. We will see where, when the market uh, gives us more information, if it's going to reset or if it's going to give us a, a, a total reversal to go to the downside like that. So basically, that is what we have on EURUSD. You may check out our free Telegram channel. I'll leave the link in the description box below. And that note, we've come to the end of our today's video. Thank you for watching. Like and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.